Hi, my name is Namai. Today I am going to show you how I motorized how I motorized the Lego 2021 Ferrari 488 GTE AF course number 51. Okay, now I will explain how I made this car drive. I used two control plus or powered up L motors for driving and I connected both of them in this frame sort of thing. And I also got this gear frame which contains two big black gears. I mean two medium black gears and a couple of beams. And these two and this uh, gear frame connects right into the L motors through these one headed three axles. Now I'm going to explain how to attach your finished motor frame into the car. You basically just put it here and then just take these three clips and then just slide it in into these L beams. And then the motor is basically done. You might notice that there are these two here. We'll work on connecting those uh, over the course of this video. Before we move on to connecting the front of the car to the back and the motors to the differential, I just want to quickly walk you through the modifications I make, made to the back. I had to attach a few gears here to connect this axle to the differential, which I then stabilized down here. The, the thing is, the rear diffuser actually connects over here, so it stabilizes just like that. Okay, now I am going to show you how to connect the front of the car to the back and the motors to the differential. So what we need to do, we need to connect this axle to this hole and this axle to this hole. Watch carefully. And also, before sliding in more, we need to attach this gear right in there. And then push it in. And just before we, and just after we do that, take four of these and put them here here and the same thing on the other side we're just going to attach two more stabilization points this and this here and here i will show you in in the next video in the next part of this, this video. this is how the car looks when those two pieces are attached okay now i will attach everything back starting with the wheels also early in also, earlier in this video, I explained that this and this will be used and the time has come to now use them. These 15 beams that connect to the driver's seat on one side and will connect to a stabilization point for the buoys on the other side will now connect to these parts. Just gonna show you a simple demonstration of how this motor moves the car forward and backward. Now I will explain a modified frame I had to make to make space for the for the steering L motor. This is the gear that connects to the rack and pinion. This gray output connects to this T beam over here, and this black output connects to the motor. This is what it looks like with a working steering wheel connecting to the rack and pinion. This is the second frame I had to modify. So the first thing was that originally the part that connected this to a 15 beam was a 9 beam that went here, but that had a turning radius problem because I realized that the wheels would actually scrape against that nine beam or, or would go relatively close to it when turning. So, plus I had to replace this 15 beam for seven beams and disconnect the two frames because the 15 beam was blocking the servo motors hum, basically this. 
So I had to modify it and here is what I came up with. This is how these frames fit. On one side, it goes like, just like this. And you can put this part in and you need to do the same thing on the other side. Then it connects to the fenders the same way. Also, I had to replace the connection between this and this with the black clip instead of one of those red slide-on clips. So now I will explain how to attach this, ser this L motor, which will act as the servo motor. First, before we do that, I just like to say that instead of the two bushies that went here and here, I replaced them for two beams and connected these push pins. And you will see how they stabilize the motor. First, let's connect the motor. We need to keep the wheels straight and then just slide in the motor. Make sure that the steering wheel and these wheel frames are straight and along with the servo motor. Next, we need to attach this. The, we attach the hood from its first connection points, and then we push these two pins in, and our servo motor is stabilized. So now we need to attach the doors and I just like to say I actually put a door lock because one one problem I realized while driving was that the doors would open in the middle of driving very fast. So I basically made this hook which is controlled by the door handle and it hooks on right here. And this part connects to a 15 beam and here you can see have a clear view of how I connected the 15 beam. The same thing is on the other side with a couple of other pieces for bullets. This is how the doors are assembled. Now I will explain how I did the pistons. So originally there was a axle joiner that was three studs long that connected here. I just removed that and that was the only modification required for the pistons. And I actually put the very T-beam used in the, in the previous like stabilization point, like the original one that, that came in the set. And I just slided these two uh, long blue clips in and this this t-beam helps cover up this hole in here and at the same time stabilize the axle for the pistons so the pistons fit like this so now i will explain how i attach the buoys this is a buoys 3.0 pro and i attached it right here so the first thing i did was I added a couple of extra pieces right here next to the L beam of the door lock and then I supported them using this. I also attached a supporting point here which is not necessary but you can do it and also I replaced this white piece that went here with this dark gray one so this white piece was originally here but I added this double sided one and I put this on. I also put it here with a couple of extra pieces to connect it to this 3 beam. This is how the buoys connects. These four points go right here. So the buoys is one stud away from each, from the dashboard and this 9 beam for space for the wires. Now I am going to show you 
a, a live demonstration of the final result of the car in the air. This is just full blast because uh, Boost 3.0 Pro doesn't have slow, normal, fast, slow, decorous. As you can see, the wheels go pretty fast and the fake V8 engine works as well. The same thing also works backwards. And it and also the steering wheel works with a working steering wheel. Demonstration of the car on the floor.